What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this blue white flyers list brought to us by our good friend turn one soul ring who has knocked it out of the park this time. Uh, so if you if you don't know the backstory, uh, turn one soul ring uh, suggested during Aquaria days. Uh, a, uh, a very nice looking blue white flyers list. Unfortunately, it didn't really come up to par, but uh, he's uh, he's proven me wrong on this one. This one is amazing. Absolutely amazing so far. Uh, we have won all three games. If you haven't checked out the first video, please do. Um, very, very strong deck. Uh, that being said, I don't know that I love this hand. Um, it does have a play, but I think we could do slightly better. Uh, and I think this actually is it. Um, I'm going to put the rally back. I don't think that's the kind of card we want at the moment. Uh, we're on the staggering insight plan now. So hopefully we can get there. Uh, looks like a ramp deck. That's going to be fun. Maybe not even a ramp deck, no. Just a pelt collector deck, that's gonna be so fun. Um, we'll see what we can do against this one. This is a, this is a bit of a rough one, I bet. Um, but, that being said, you know, they won't have a lot of blockers at the very least. Um, that doesn't trigger anything, so that's good. Uh, that's a good sign for us at the very least. Um, let's go ahead and get this down, and we'll get Watcher of the Spheres down. Alright, see what we can do. Um, thankfully, Staggering Insight, uh, assuming we can get it down, it's going to gain us some life back, so that's very good. Mm. Finishing up my apple cider from video one, and it's delightful. That's a problem. That is a problem. Um, no blocks. Alright, so. Uh, let's do this. Let's put the Staggering Insight here. Uh, no attacks. We'll see what they want to do. Uh, this does have reach, so that's going to make it slightly difficult. Ooh, that's bad. That's real bad. Yep. Um, hmm. I don't want to... Uh, oh, we can't even. I'm sorry. Uh, it has protection, so let's do this. We need to gain some life back, unfortunately, so we are kind of committed to doing that. Um, let's do this. Uh, and we'll pass here. We can, uh, Lofty Denial something if they, uh, if they give us the opportunity, but we'll see. Um, let's do this. Let's bounce this. Slight, mostly because we have to. Um, <laughs> and then hopefully we can counter it on the way back down. Okay. Um, but unfortunately Brazen Borrower is not going to get it done for us here. It cannot block uh, creatures without flying, so they do unfortunately just win. Uh, that unfortunately I think they just had a quicker hand. I don't really think we misplayed heavily. I think it was correct of us to mulligan as well. Um, but that's just my uh, call. I think we would have been in worse shape had we, uh, had we kept with the first hand because we did only have... I mean, literally one thing. Uh, two Safaras is not going to get it done uh, against that kind of deck. We we really would have wanted a lot more little 1-1s one and things like that. Uh, and an Imperion Eagle would have been helpful. Uh, yeah, let's try and keep this. This is a nice one, too, uh, with the, the uh, Spectral Sailor as well as the Lofty Denial. Uh, we will flash this out at the end of their turn. I don't think we need to do that quite yet. Uh, or just now. We can do it now. <laughs> Excuse me, a little sneezy today, by the way. If I sound a bit stuffy, I apologize. Uh, okay, let's do this, and we'll pass. This does have reach, so no sense in blocking. Or, excuse me, attacking. Uh, here, though, we do get to Lofty Denial. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Um, let's get that out of there. Uh, looks like Teamer Elemental kind of stuff. Uh, very, very good, but... Hopefully not too bad. I'm actually going to leave up the denial here. This isn't threatening us. Um, whatever is in their hand might. Uh, and so I'd rather get that down. Looks like we might have misplayed a bit here, though. It might have been better to get the eagle down. Um, just given the current state of things. Sure. Um, and unfortunately, we cannot do both next turn either, which is my fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> now, though, I'm expecting something big. Uh... We'll see, but... And we get that. Um, we'll let that stick. Uh, we do get to just draw a card here if we want, though. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're playing it a bit slow, I understand. Um, let's do this. Hmm. We do want to get to Safara range. Let's just go ahead and play both of these out here. Oh, we could have flashed that out, I suppose, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, we can actually get Imperion Eagle down as well, but I'm going to leave up the Lofty Denial. I think it's pretty telling that we're leaving that up at this point. Uh, also, I'm sorry, I'm realizing our frame rates are slightly bad, but hopefully they're not too terrible. But there we go. All right, and that's enough for the opponent. Wow, two games and we're under five, or excuse me, six minutes. That's uh, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's jump into our last game here. This is going very very quickly. Uh, hey, and we got a card. Yeah, havoc gesture. Cool. All right. Well, last game. Uh, this has gone very very quickly uh, and relatively smoothly, aside from the first game, but that's okay. Uh, so far, I am loving this deck. I really do like it. Uh, turn one, Soul Ring, you did a great job. This one feels much, much stronger uh, than the uh, than the initial list that we looked at during Akoria only days. So, very, very happy with this. Um, even if we lose this game, I think we've got a lot to talk about here. So, I'm very, very happy. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's go ahead and put down Fairy Miscreant here. Uh, and this is a hand we're probably just going to go ahead and push out the watcher here um, we can always bounce something later if we need uh, and it looks like we will um, it's a great bounce target later in the game uh, this cycling deck is super annoying as you all know I super hate it um, but it is what it is um, okay sure Ooh. well let's go ahead and draw a card here that's kind of nice that we get to do that um, Ooh, an Imperion Eagle. Yeah, let's get that down. Get a lot more damage in, though. Uh, that felt pretty good. Um, we do have to win this game relatively quickly because uh, the z whatever that giant burn spell is that's super annoying. Uh, God, I hate that spell so much. <laughs> um, okay, well, I guess we got there. Uh, that was really, really quick. Um, we are under eight minutes. We're at seven and a half minutes. Uh, hey, I guess, you know, you made a good one. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's talk about this day. I don't think we like got shorted on any games necessarily. I think we really did just kind of get there, so I'm okay with this. Uh, just want to talk about this deck a little bit. First of all, Turn 1 Soul Ring, again, thank you so much for the submission. Anybody's welcome to submit. I talked a little bit in the first video about how some of the decks are not quite up to par. That's part of why you're not seeing all of the decks that we've gotten in our Discord channel. And it's not that we don't appreciate the submission. I just want to be very clear. We have tried out a lot of these decks, and some of them worked, some of them have not. Uh, Turn 1 Soul Ring generally has very good decks, which is why we tend to play a lot of Turn 1 Soul Ring's lists. Uh, that doesn't mean that anybody else's lists are better or worse. They just either are not up to the best of one ladder par, uh, or they don't have quite the mechanics, that, or the idea doesn't quite get there. Um, that's not to say we won't play them in the future. That's to say we need to work on them. Um, and so I'm excited to do that. We just, unfortunately, it's just been slightly busy, and so I'm going with the lists that are very easy to just go with off the cuff, um, which a few of them have been, so very much appreciate it. Um, this deck is awesome. Uh, I absolutely love a good blue white blue white flyers list uh, outside of limited. I think if you can get a good constructed list, it always feels really really good and very very solid. This one finally does. I don't think we had quite enough pieces uh, to really get there. I think the watcher uh, as well as the lofty denial both add so much to this list. Not only interaction but also just a really really efficient beater uh, that also cheapens all of your spells. Uh, all of your creatures, excuse me. So there is a lot to be said for just those two cards. And I think this is a really good testament to say there are, when you look at decks that don't quite feel like they're up to par, um, I, I think it's very easy to say, well, we just don't have all the cards and, you know, it's not quite there. And normally you're right. And I, I think that, you know, this was kind of a case there where the deck just wasn't quite good enough because it didn't have quite the pieces that it needed. But you can see how just making two changes, I mean, literally two changes uh, in terms of new cards to the deck really, really gives it a whole new feel, a whole lot better, uh, a, a whole lot more efficiency, as well as good interaction. 
Uh, and you can play kind of the role of the standback defensive interactive player, uh, thanks to Brazen Borrower, uh, Lofty Denials, and even the Rally, the Wings, in some cases. Um, there are ways that you can kind of play that defensive mode, or you can go the offensive mode with things like Staggering Insight, uh, with things like Watcher, and even uh, the top end, Safara. So there's a lot to be said for this deck right now. I think this is a very great example that just tweaking things a little bit can do so much for your list. So uh, I just want to point that out that, you know, if you're playing a list and it's just not quite there, think about the things that you're missing. Think about the matchups that it is losing uh, and see, well, maybe if I had had counter magic or interaction of some kind, maybe I would have been a little better off. If you're against a lot of creature decks and you're losing to a lot of creature decks and your deck may, may or may not be a creature that doesn't matter, I think the point of that, that, that uh, comment is you might just need some interaction with those creatures. It's very simple. You just look at the places that your deck is kind of falling short and hope that you can kind of push in some more burn spells or some more removal spells or, you know, whatever it happens to be. So I just want to point that out to you guys that, you know, if you're finding yourself on a losing streak, play around with just a few cards in your deck. You don't have to restructure an entire deck because you're losing. Uh, it's okay to lose sometimes. That's how we learn. Uh, but I just want to point out that normally it's a small change that's going to do a lot for you. <clears throat> um, and so just a heads up, I, I, that's not like, you know, super helpful advice, I'm sure, for a lot of people. But I hope that you can uh, at least kind of take that and see, you know, maybe this deck that I really, really love just needs a quick tweak uh, and maybe it'll get there. So uh, do uh, share your deck list with us if you'd like to. We'd be happy to play them uh, on video. We love doing that. Uh, and so do share those in our Discord. The link is down below. Uh, and thank you guys so much for the submissions that have already come in, but also supporting our channel right now. It's great. Uh, it's fantastic to see all of you. It's a very exciting time for us to be able to push out a lot of these videos. Um, not only that, uh, JDC uh, is coming back, and I'm really excited about that as well. We're recording the first episode today, uh, this afternoon, in fact, and so I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. I think that's going to be something really, really fun. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. I've got ideas to bolster it up uh, later, uh, but we kind of have to do a proof of concept first, and so that's episode one right now. So very, very excited. Uh, got a great guest on as well, so that'll be up there, uh, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support lately, and I will see you very soon uh, in the next gameplay video. Thanks, guys.